best sea salt, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he, he changes his mind often, but it's going to be versus Earl of M. Uh, the newly minted Krom main, who's been playing more Krom than Lucina. And, uh, I mean, he's been getting results. I would say the, the two best Kroms that we have in Chicago are definitely between Earl and Jimmy. I feel like I would have to give it to uh, Jimmy because he's been more consistently playing the character, and I would consider him more of a Krom main. Earl is just kind of like a Smash player, and he plays whatever he feels like playing against whoever the character is. So I definitely have to give the title to Jimmy, but if Earl continues the trend that he's been going in, he's got uh, he's got contesting results. Right now, Earl in the ledge trap situation, that spacing, he just stood there like he could. Bowser Bomb, not really going to get anything done. Back to neutral here. All right, Earl takes the stage. And he's ledge trapping again. His ledge traps have been really good. Normally, his edge guarding is his point of focus, but right now, his ledge traps have been excellent. Jimmy hasn't really been able to touch stage at all. That side view was a little bit of a flub, but let's see if he can bounce back here. Yep, the up, the out of shield. Going to get some... Actually, just going to take the stock. Good stuff, man. Earl's really out here doing stuff like that, man. Dash attack, not going to combo into anything here. Seabest. Seabest just needs to get stage control. That, that's why he's losing right now. He has not been able to just touch the stage. He's been off the stage the whole time. Earl's coming back, man. Up air. That falling up air is so strong. Trying to space out these down airs, I don't necessarily agree with it. I don't know if you're actually going to get something too substantial with that off a of Bowser up B. But, I mean, for the most part, I can't really complain. He's been playing really hot. Guess that reverse back. And there it is, man. That... That is what I consider to be Earl of M's forte in this game. His edge guarding is just stellar. I've been saying it since like day one. It's the best in Chicago. Oh my gosh. Tries to go out again. Tries another one of these down airs. I don't really know. I mean, here's what I will say. The down air is setting up for like a, a couple like traps. Like not, not necessarily a true frame trap, but just kind of like a decision trap. Like, I've down aired, and now people are normally pressured into, like, rolling because that's the furthest thing away from the, what they're playing against. But, I mean, Seesaw hasn't really rolled here at all, and that's actually might have been his first... No, not his first, but he hasn't been jumping from ledges often. And again, he's back on the ledge. Earl of M is just commanding the stage. I, I mean, like, look at this. Seabass, sea Seesaw, I, I actually don't know what he wants us to call him now. I think he said his tag was sea salt because he was salty one week, and I, I just think he keeps entering as that. But I'm gonna call him sea bass for the rest of this game, and he's just gonna have to be okay with that. And I, I'm okay doing that because his Twitter is still sea bass. And let's be real, your Twitter is what your actual tag is. For everyone at home thinking it's not, that's what it actually is. Your Twitter reflects you as a person. He's gonna stay Bowser, and he's gonna stay Crom. I I pretty much guaranteed that was gonna happen. We're starting this off game two. It's going to be Kalos. Interesting pick. I would love to ask Seb why he picked that. I feel like this is just because Krom is so fast and there's so much room to like move around and he can close these gaps. I just feel like this would be an advantageous stage for a Krom player in general. Right now, Earl putting on these huge combos though. Seb trying to land with the Nair. Not getting anything out of it, but oh my gosh, it's the run up F smash. Seb gets it down till. That Bowser breath is so strong. It was like 40% raw. It's unreal. Oh my goodness. He just really died for that. He got caught in the Bowser fire and Earl just ran up and did it to him. That doesn't really interrupt like a Charizard one does. So I don't know if that's necessarily the strongest play you have there as a ledge trap option. But either way, man, Earl putting in work. Seb's got to figure something out here. That Bowser Bomb not going to quite do it. Chases him to no avail. Gets the grab. Can he follow up here? That forward throw? Oh my gosh, the immaculate DI there. Gets the Bowser Breath. Ooh, he actually canceled it a little too early. He might have gotten some damage off of that. The F smash raw going to get him to stage again. Oh my gosh, Earl went so deep and almost did it. But finally... Finally, Seabass evening this up a little bit here. Oh, it's just the parry on the last hit, dude. Earl is playing out of his mind. He finally found a character that fits him out of the thousand that he plays. Getting that jab. Not converting as quick as he really should be. That jab back here needs to happen quick. I know people have dubbed that the Raw XD. I think Censored calls it that. I hate that, but 
Either way, man, F-Smash locking it down. It's going to be two stocks to one. Seb trying to make something work here. So much damage. That eventually poked. I feel like you're either going to get poked or broke. Up, you out of shield. A pretty strong option there. Actually, I don't know if it was out of shield. I'm paying that close of attention. There out of shield. Try to get the back air. Couldn't quite get it. I like that, though. The landing guard back air. That is where, right there, you saw that where, that's where Sea Salt needs to take advantage of this. Every time, every single time that Earl tries to, like, up B back to that second platform. Because that's, if you're high enough, like, that is where you're going as Krom. You have to be in that area to not go to that top platform there. But when you go to that top platform, Seabass just literally needs to go up in back air. I mean, just, like, oh no. Oh my gosh, these ledge traps. Wow. Wow. Absolutely ridiculous.